to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9, a mighty explosive one. And let's get cracking into another one. TNT, I want to get right into it because I love bringing up how NFTs are going to be useful because <laughs> it, it, <laughs> because you always love thwarting my dreams. I'm not trying to thwart your dreams. I believe in NFTs and I believe in cryptocurrency. I, I do too. I yeah. just don't believe it's anytime soon. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, but now's the time to get in because then in 20 years when it gets in, it's going to be like Bitcoin. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, no, but anyways, so... Uh, Ticketmaster debuted at NFT gated sale. It started with the band Avenge Sevenfold. Avenge Sevenfold, okay. Um, they essentially, had that one song. Yeah, I don't, what I don't was, know anything. Do you, you don't remember the Avenge Sevenfold song? No, what is it? I don't remember, dude. Is it uh, like Creed? No, they were like kind of like silver chair <laughs> Oh, are they? Are you sure? With a little, with like they, a little uh, bit more edge. They if were like, you could only see <laughs> the way. Is that silver chair? <laughs> no, I don't know. That's definitely not silver chair. Okay. I don't uh, no, I don't know. All right, either way. But anyways, so essentially what happened, what, like what you bought the NFT from, I think from the band, mm -hmm. and it gave you access, almost like the Ticketmaster password, to get in for like an early pre-sale oh, and, right. and somebody posted um on twitter since i am a, a, a whatever the twitter handle holder i was able to get two tickets section one for 250 dollars, which included a 25 dollars service fee those same two tickets are now close to 755 dollars with a 61 dollar fee and that was just because mm. they own this nft to get in now my mm. what i'm saying is I think what it's going to be is the tickets are going to be NFTs in the future, so you can't counterfeit tickets. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the same. This is like the first step of like, hey, you you own this NFT. Now you now you can you connect your wallet to Ticketmaster, and it allows you to buy the tickets. Isn't that just going to promote scalping? Because just like anything, when the price go up, that's when you sell. Well, but what happens is normally what happens is scalpers. What, what, the way it works now. You, they just have ticket limits, and so there's no there's no thing you need. Maybe a password to get in. You can buy say ten tickets per account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. they have bots buying. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. So in order for them to do this, they would have had to buy that many NFTs up front. And to then what get is in. to prevent them from doing that? They're already doing that. But then it's all linked to a wallet. It's all live on, so you know who's okay. doing it and what's happening. But okay, you know. Well, right, but the, I guess the thing is, is still my money. It's it's not as easy to set up set up all those different crypto wallets, buy all those different NFTs. So, are they going to limit the amount of uh, tickets that you can buy via NFT per account? I would imagine. Because I, I imagine that they'd have to. You have to put some sort of limitation on it. It does. I mean, the fact that they already have bots set up that are basically like bum rushing Ticketmaster the moment tickets come out, driving the price of Taylor Swift tickets through the roof. I know, man. I still think that, you know, it really doesn't stop the scalper. If anything, it almost incentivizes it. It's yeah. like, hey, you got to get them before they go up in price. Yeah, it, well, and it's really interesting because anymore, if I can't get a pre-sale code and buy the ticket, yeah, I just I, I, refu I, I refuse to buy. Nah. Like, I'm not paying $200 to see anybody. Nah. Like, Fam, did you see how much Drake tickets were going for? Like, just on the aftermarket? Nosebleeds, $500. Ticketmaster. This is, re this is retail. Five hundred dollars for no oh, like sleep. straight up for for like like the day they go on sale, not not yes. aftermarket. Yes, yes, it's insane. It's like insane. Yeah, like I I had a hard time spending like eighty bucks on a concert ticket. Well, could you imagine how much like front row? Front row, you're looking at like twenty five five thousand dollars. It it was interesting. Five thousand five k. I you guarantee said you. that because like I was looking at uh somewhere in that at range. like a ticket for like a wrestling show. Yeah, and it was like it what it was like I think second row from the front, but on the aisle where like the people come down because I was I went to go buy tickets. And I was like, oh, those two seats are available. That's interesting. And this mm. is just for like a TV taping show, right? Nothing, mm. not a pay per view, nothing special. And mm. the two seats were like seventeen hundred. Hundred and fifty dollars a piece at face value, like on Ticketmaster, and I was like, for a, for like a Wednesday night TV taping random ass wrestling show, Why like three you... grand for two tickets. That's before fees. Are you insane? Who would pay that? Like that's not even that's 
I don't understand how that experience is worth it. I, like, I feel like even if I was rich, I feel like that's a little just too too gauche for me. <laughs> is that the right term? I don't uh, know. I do. I feel like that's a little gauche, though, my bad. Well, yeah, that's a little I mean, too much. It's. Do I it, love wrestling like that? No. I, I mean, like, I don't love anything like that. Even if, like, man, if they oh, brought man. Kurt Cobain back from the dead and were like, we're going to have one last Nirvana show. Yeah. If you want to see him, he's going to look just like he did in 1992. Yeah. $1,700 a ticket. I'd be like, I'm good. You know, and, and here's the thing, though. It's like, I guess, I guess if you get to the point where 3K is like 300 to you, then it's not a big deal. Because there was a point in my life where 300 was like 3000 to me. And now, oh, yeah. and now, like, you know, I'm at a point where like $300 doesn't seem like jack shit. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not like a little amount of money. I'm not dropping $300 yeah. a day on everything. But it's like, that ain't really, well, that's right. nothing I'm, really. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, and it's, well, I think, and also like inflation and like whatever. I think a lot yeah. of people still have those issues. But I think as you grow older, you start making more money and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. not everybody, obviously, but like, it's. But. Even still, I feel like for like a concert to have prices or for any event, man, you you getting like, I understand you got to like drive up the price of certain seats, but the fans want to sit there, man. Let the fans sit there. Well, right. And the then, people then who really love it is the people who really love it. A lot of times aren't the rich people. So then they sit in the nosebleeds and the people who sit in the really good seats are people who don't even really care that they're there. Exactly. They're there because like, oh, I bought the $3,000 ticket to the wrestling show. But like. Are they really like a fan? Like, are they in, like? Imagine if you had a show like a boxing event or a wrestling show, where a even like the NBA, where like you let the die-hard ass fans sit courtside. Right. It would be such a crazier it would environment. Be way better than I don't want. I don't want to have to see Spike Lee every time I go to the game. <laughs> yeah, right. Let me see somebody different. Yeah, it's um, it, it's interesting to think because yeah, the fans don't get to. Like, uh, dead ass, do you not think it would be better that at a basketball game, at a football game, in the middle of the game, you just saw a fight break out in the middle of the stands? I mean, you see that always. It's always in the upper deck. That's exactly. Where I... We're nowhere you can't. It won't Whoa, be televised. Hot take. That's how they prevent incidents from happening. They jack up the close yeah. seats so that so the imbeciles who get drunk and don't know any better can't afford them. That might be the truth, honestly. That might be the truth. I mean, it's like protect yourself by gating the access, right? Yeah. Like, because yeah, the guy from the upper deck who's wasted, the chances of him getting all the way down to the front row and getting in yeah. slim to none. He's gonna get stopped at some point. Yeah. But if he's in row three. And he's a wild card. And you don't know what's going to happen. He's been drinking since noon, and the game's at seven. He might get on the court. Yeah, you know what, Jones? You're absolutely right. Poor people shouldn't have fun. <laughs> I agree. No, for real. Yeah. You <laughs> I, don't deserve it. I don't think that's what I was saying, but I guess I guess I mean. No, that, you're right, though, right? I just, <laughs> don't I you mean, agree? <laughs> sure. <laughs> my completely insane statement. Yeah, you don't agree like, with that? Yeah, no? it's uh, all right. Well, it's, fine. Uh, but you know, it's and you know what else is really interesting. Like in that same caveat, is it? It's like. Also, sometimes I feel like people who don't have money are just appreciative to be able to be there at all, even if they're up super high. So, like, yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, we can only afford fifty dollars tickets, and we're in the nosebleeds. They're st they're just happy to be there. Period. Bro, the first the first uh, basketball game I went to, I was in the cheapest seats. I could touch the back of the gun arena. Oh, like yeah, 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 right. And like then, the first game you've ever like yeah, ever went to, like yeah. were you were you a kid or no, no, thank you. I, I appreciate that. No, my my mom didn't love me enough. Um, <laughs> I feel no, you. I was probably like <laughs> twenty, but uh, I never really wanted to go. But I went with some girl, and it was cool. It was a cool experience. But the last game I went to, my mom is a season ticket holder at, for the, for the Cavaliers, and the last game I went to, I was like literally like five rows back. From the court? From the court. It was crazy. The closest Different ever. experience. It was a completely different experience. Yeah, I have a uh, I uh I have I, I've had I've had season tickets with football a long time. I always had upper deck seats, about halfway up the middle upper deck. Nothing nothing yeah. fancy, nothing. But they were, I mean they were decent seats, you could see everything. It was mm -hmm. fun. But then like uh I had a friend 
or a girl I worked with, her mother had like dog pound tickets like ten rows from the front. Ooh, total, total rough, different, though, total different experience, yeah. right? Or, or I went to uh, I went to like a Patriots rough. game, like uh, kind of as a present after I uh, graduated college. Yeah, and we sat like fifty yard line, like. 17 rows or 15 rows from the front that's good that's total good. different experience it's like but you can't deny the fact that we had a good time when me you top bunch of other guys all went to that game and we were way I was back sick as hell i mean yeah, i had a good time but i had i almost died on the way home we were I was drunk sick. as hell dude it was a great time yeah yeah for total all you guys different experience. i was sick that was before covid where you went places sick you were like <laughs> you got you got 103 fever you're like i'm going to the football game yeah. like it didn't matter, like yeah, because there wasn't like a plague going around. Yeah, it was. I was really, really sick that game. Like I, I yeah. met and went uh, our buddy E and rode with him up, and like I went back to his house and driving home from his house, I was like, this is the first time I've ever driven and felt unsafe because I'm sick. Like I was so sick driving home, I was like, it came on like that. Dur like yeah. I don't know, I had like the, got like the flu or something. So yeah, yeah, it was awful. But anyways, uh, that's all the time we have for today's stuff. So go to crazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Are we up?